Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups in the reverse and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this energy in the reverse is someone who's coming out of a state of apathy this is someone who's choosing to no longer let something some sort of opportunities pass them by this is someone who is becoming more available especially emotionally available um, this is somebody who is starting to feel almost um hopeful again it's like enthusiastic again with this energy in the reverse so this could be someone who you rejected in the past or someone who you didn't pay much attention to or this person could have rejected you or have not noticed you in the past in some way they were unavailable to you um this situation it's like this person it's coming back around they're looking for us another opportunity here they, this is someone who feels like they may have missed an opportunity in the past and they want to seize this moment this time so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this gemini okay so we have the eight of wands in the reverse and this is fire energy next you have the page of wands fire energy and finally we have the seven of swords in the reverse air energy Okay, so we do have the eight of wands in the reverse which is an energy of stagnancy it's like this is someone where things just didn't move forward with them for whatever reason in the past and um there may have been a halt in communication blocked communication um but it's like there was no passion there was no energy before there was no desire there was no you know forward movement and with the page of wands it's like this person is coming back around and this time they're enthusiastic they want to start something up this is someone who has gained the momentum the energy to um come towards you um this could have been someone who perhaps things did start off and then they stopped or, you know it's like it could have been a ghosting situation or just things just fizzled out um, but this person is like wanting to re-spark the flame and with the seven of swords being in the reverse this is also a good sign because this shows that this person is not just gonna want to pretend like nothing happened this is someone who is going to come clean this is someone who is going to be quite upfront with you about why things didn't work out or why things went stagnant with them if they ghosted you they're going to come towards you with a confession about why they did that it's just this energy of them coming towards you very directly and transparently um, this is them reaching out to you and opening up lines of communication and with the seven of swords they're going to be honest they're taking some sort of accountability here okay so let's clarify these cards gemini So at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords in the reverse and this is air energy gemini 
Libra Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of recovery. So this could be someone who broke your heart and it's like they're coming back to fix it. You know, it's like they want to heal this situation. They want to um, give you some sort of clarity and understanding. And it's like they're coming straight from their heart. This is someone who wants to give you, it's like they're going to show empathy. They're going to show, it's like giving you compassion, but also asking for your compassion. This is definitely someone who wants to recover something with you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next, we have the Page of Wands again, Fire Energy. And finally, we have the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, which is also an energy of someone returning to a situation that they walked away from before. They're coming back to speak to you. I'm seeing with the them returning to these cups, it's like coming back to um, an emotional situation, coming back to face their feelings and to communicate about their feelings. So this person could be, um, you know, doing something that's difficult. It's like they're addressing a heartbreak. They're addressing something here. Um, it's almost like they're initiating a heart to heart and they are coming back with a very emotionally available energy. Um, they, this is not someone who's going to try to avoid the issue. Um, they have a lot they want to tell you about their feelings. This is a lot of communication coming from them. And this person is hopeful. They they are hopeful that you guys can move forward this is someone who's actually coming towards you with the intention of um, creating a new opportunity with you starting again um, with the page of pentacles they they may even make a promise here um, a promise to go the extra mile to commit to uh, making something work and to seeing something through um, this could even be them promising not to leave again or not to leave without warning or not to abandon you in some way but this is definitely someone who has remorse and they want to take ownership they want to take accountability they want your forgiveness and understanding but it's like this is someone who knows what they did wrong or where things went wrong they they are aware and it's like they want to communicate you know this is definitely someone who is um eager to start again with you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you gemini Okay, so the card says surrender to the divine full moon okay so this person is hoping that they can um win your heart over it's like this person does want to it's like this person at first they may have ran away from this connection in some way um or they were just you know it's like they they slept on this connection in some way because we have the eight of cups and then now it's in the reverse it's like they're coming back and it's like they're choosing to surrender to this connection this is someone who feels like they can't really it's like they try to leave or to get away from it or they try to ignore the connection or ignore their feelings but it's like they couldn't do it so this is them surrendering to this connection okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you gemini So the card says, past life, relationship, you have known each other before. Okay, so something about this connection is intense. It's like this person feels pulled back. It's like they can't escape the situation or their feelings when it comes to this connection. Um, you know, it's like this person may... They may be slow to um, awaken to the connection. It's like, because we have page energy here. It's like there's something about them that's inexperienced when it comes to this connection. But at the same time, it's like something pulls them back. There's something divine about this connection. And with the past life energy, there could be some sort of karmic link when it comes to this connection. Um, this is why this person can't fully just walk away. Um, there's something here about this connection that it's like, there's a lesson behind it there's something divine there's a deeper meaning to it and um i do see here someone who you know is starting to see that they need to surrender to this connection in some way um okay so i'm going to put another card for you uh gemini So 
the card says Tzilut, friendship and gratitude. Let us be grateful for the people who make our souls happy, who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Okay, so this person feels some sort of soul connection, um, but there's also just this innocent energy here of you make this person happy. This person is grateful for you. They appreciate you. And, you know, it's like they, this, this could be why they're coming back. It's, it's this energy of um, recognizing that this connection is quite divine in some way. And um, they feel comfortable with you as well. Um, there's this energy of a simple pleasure when it comes to this connection as well. And um, this person does feel something. It's like it, it, the 3D self can't really comprehend because we have this page energy here, but it's like, on a soul level, they do feel something that keeps pulling them back to this connection. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.